Welcome to Beacon Retirement Strategies, a show dedicated to helping you turn your retirement dreams into reality. From financial planning and wealth management to strategies for taxes, healthcare, and leaving a legacy, the team at Beacon Capital Management provides one-stop modern solutions for your journey to and through retirement. This is Beacon Retirement Strategies. Welcome to the show. I'm Amy Sharp here with John Maxson and Dan Benson. Great to be with you guys. Great today. to be here, Amy. You too, Amy. Looking forward to this one. We have a big show ahead, and we're going to start by talking with annuities. Why not get right into the most important part of retirement planning, which is income planning? Sure, and annuities are probably one of the most misunderstood asset classes out there. There's actually four types. Um, some people have annuities and don't even know it because the term pension by definition means to guarantee income and pensions are a guarantee of lifetime income. And so um, is an annuity for everyone? Well, that depends on your situation. You need to understand all the aspects of annuities, but they can be very helpful if you're looking for predictable and sustainable income. All right, and then we go to the topic of blind spots. And what does that have to do with retirement? Well, quite a bit because a blind spot in retirement is not like one in your car. It can actually really trip you up once you get to that stage. Well, it can, Amy. And most people, when you're driving in your car, we know where our blind spots are. We know where to look. We know how to anticipate that. But in retirement, so many people don't know what a blind spot is. How do I look for it? Most people haven't ever been retired until they get to retirement. And so there is no practice. We have to get it right the first time. And so we try to help families understand what does it mean to know your financial number? How important is that to really making sure that we're successful through our retirement, planning for longevity, planning for inflation? And also, what about having the wrong financial advisor? Right. Is there such a thing? Absolutely, and that really does take us to our next topic, which is having a trusted advisor by our side. We know the team at Beacon Capital Management can really help us to make sure that we know where those blind spots, yeah. blind spots are along yeah. the way. And it's the difference between a hope and a plan. A plan is actually something written. When someone works with Beacon, we have a written income plan. We have a written investment plan. If you were to ask someone to bring into your office the written income plan for how they're going to get income in retirement, you probably wouldn't see a lot of that. We also have a written tax plan, we do a written health care plan, and also a written estate plan. So to us, that's what full service wealth planning really is. Okay, thanks so much guys. It's all straight ahead on Beacon Retirement Strategies. Stay with us. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. If we've learned anything over the last few years, it's that we can expect change. And when it comes to retirement planning, it's more important than ever to have a solid plan to cover income, taxes, health care, and your estate. Overlooking just one of these can cost you big in retirement. To help you prepare, Beacon Capital offers a free financial plan checkup that will help you know if you're on the right track for retirement. Call now to schedule your free financial plan checkup. Did you know taxes could be your biggest expense in retirement? It's true, and it catches a lot of people by surprise. You've worked too hard to overpay on taxes come retirement. Learn how to keep more of what's yours and maintain your lifestyle in retirement by downloading this free tax guide now from Beacon Capital Management. Find out ways to save on taxes and enjoy the retirement you deserve. Go to beacon.cm.com slash tax guide to get yours today. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. Well, guys, we have a great topic to talk about and probably one of the most widely debated investment vehicles that's out there in the financial world, and that's annuities. And you have some financial advisors that absolutely love annuities. You have some financial advisors that hate annuities. You have most of the financial advisors out there that don't even know how a real annuity works. And more importantly, there's not just one type of annuity. There's four different types. And so I have people come in all the time and they say, Dan, what's your stance regarding an annuity? And the first thing I ask them is, well, what type of annuity are you talking about? And I would say that 0% of the families out there know that there are multiple types of annuities. So I, I think we should take some time and just unpack all these different types of annuities and really get the truth out there today. Yeah, because it is, it's one of the most misunderstood investments out there. We see it every day. So for example, 
Um, I was speaking at an event recently, and it was a Q&A time period, and the gentleman that was sitting in the front said, um, you couldn't give me one reason why I would ever own an annuity. And so I said, well, sir, do you have a pension plan? And he said, well, yes, I do. And I said, well, do you enjoy that pension plan? And he said, yes. I said, would you give it up? And he said, no, who would give their pension plan up? And I said, well, sir, that's one form of an annuity. Congratulations, you have one. And it just really speaks to the fact that there is so much confusion out there. Pete. Yeah, and um, I mean, a lot of advisors um, think that every single person on planet Earth needs an annuity, and there's others that feel that nobody needs one. Uh, the four different types, an immediate, that is like a pension plan. You turn it on, it's a guaranteed income stream, for as long as you live, if you set it up properly. Um, but if you die prematurely, then the insurance company can keep a lot of the money. So you hear the good, you hear the bad. Uh, is that right for very many people? I don't know. Again, it's a custom decision. Then a fixed annuity um, is just a set rate of return for a set period of time. So you may get 2%, 3%. 4% for a period of three or four years or whatever. So you're never going to make huge returns, but on the other hand, because it's principal protected, then when the stock market goes down, you're not going to lose anything. You just got that set rate of return. But there's other ones out there too, like variable and indexed. Right. I would say the most widely known type of an annuity out there are variable annuities. And they are, for, for the most part, pretty high in fees. They can run up to three to three and a half percent a year. So, uh, and no downside type of protection or anything like that, unless you die. Sometimes there's a death benefit. But most of our clients coming in to talk about retirement aren't signing up to die. They want to live, they want to enjoy. And so if fee levels get up to three and a half percent, that really impacts your earning potential and for the most part, I would say that variable annuities, if that's the, the route you're going to go, there are usually better options to get lower fees and still get the same type of benefits that a variable annuity would offer. Yeah. And then you have what's called a hybrid or fixed index annuity, which is a little bit like a variable annuity, un unlike that in the sense that it's principal protected. You're linked to a market index. There's a bunch of indexes that you can link to. Now, you're not going to get all the return. There is a cap. It's a conservative investment. So you don't get all the returns when the market goes up. So you need to understand the caps and how that applies to you. But the reverse side of that is you also don't get any of the losses when the market goes down. So this can be a good vehicle if you're looking for a conservative, principal-protected rate of return. And again, it's kind of one of the new kids on the block. Yeah, and, and I think the other thing is um, that, that one of the aspects of our firm is we are comprehensive. So we always think about taxes, estate planning, and that kind of thing when we're analyzing investments and what the right approach is. And I know with the estate planning, beneficiaries is always a big deal on annuities or whatever the investment is. Yeah, anytime I'm meeting with someone and they have an annuity, I always check the beneficiary because a lot of times there's confusion on that end as well amongst the client base is that what happens to this when I pass away? Right. And many think that just in their estate planning documents that that, that annuity will pass through their estate and it, it doesn't. Most often times it will go to the name beneficiary of that annuity and not go through a will or not go through a trust. And so it's eye-opening for them a lot of times. Yeah, and clients understanding the taxes on a particular investment, also important, Patrick. Yeah, I've heard you and John and Dan say it time and time again, it's not how much you have, it's how much you keep. Yeah. So making sure that you're keeping more of that or your, your family's keeping more of that than the money going to the IRS is really important. Yeah. Yeah, it is important. And, and I think the key to all of this is work with people that are independent. If you go to someone who's just going to sell you an annuity, you need to run. If you go to someone who hates all annuities, you probably need to equally run. Work with someone who's independent that can share with you all the tools that are available and start narrowing it down and that really knows all the different types of annuities to help give you the truth and how these work. So uh, great topic today. Really enjoyed talking about it and uh, looking forward to doing it again next week. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. When it comes to investing for retirement, it's important to know that returns on fixed income options like CDs, savings accounts, and even bonds are extremely low. And that's not likely going to change anytime soon. You need to generate income in retirement, but investing aggressively in the stock market comes with a lot more risk. If you're in or near retirement, this could be dangerous. However, there are some surprisingly attractive options to generate income in retirement without betting the farm. 
At Beacon Capital Management, we want to show you how to use your savings to generate retirement income with our free retirement income analysis. You'll discover the fastest way to increase your income that most people simply overlook. The key to protecting your principal from the increasing risk on Wall Street and the options to generate tax-free income in retirement. Learn your options, make your money work for you in retirement with our free retirement income analysis. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. Time now for Estate Planning with Ryan Knight. And Ryan, if I already have an estate plan, how often do I update it? How important is it to do that from time to time and review it as well? It's very important. Many people create their plan and they think they're done, and that's not the case. As life circumstances change, whether you have kids, there's a marriage, a divorce, you move states, there's a number of things that can happen that would require you to reevaluate the plan you have in place. A good example is our current tax laws. They're ever-changing. So used to, the estate taxes were much lower. Under our current tax environment, it's over 11 million for an individual. You double that for a married couple. So if you created a estate plan five, 10 years ago, that planning may be a little out of date and you're putting restrictions on yourself or your surviving spouse that's not necessary anymore. So it's good to go back, reevaluate those, make sure everything is working under today's current tax environment um, and making sure everything's buttoned up. All right, thanks so much. Great information and that is your estate planning tip of the week. On today's Breaking Down the Basics, we're going to talk about five retirement blind spots. You know, we've probably all experienced uh, kind of the fear of trying to change lanes and then realizing somebody beeps their horn really loudly and you realize that they were in your blind spot. You didn't really see them as you were driving down the interstate and it can be very frightening when that happens. Well. When it comes to retirement planning, there can be some blind spots that are frightening as well. And we're going to discuss those here today. So I just want to cover five of them that you need to be aware of that they may be blind spots to your planning for retirement. Number one, not knowing your number. And that really could be many different numbers. Okay. So first of all, have I saved up enough money? Well, what number is needed to sustain the kind of life that you want? And we help people do that all the time in our office. And then what about this number? How much do you owe going into retirement? And here's another one. How much do you want for income after taxes? So not knowing those numbers. And again, at Beacon Capital, what we help people do is find the answers to those things and let you know how close you are to maybe being retired soon. The second blind spot is not factoring in longer life expectancy. People are living longer. I actually have several clients, believe it or not, that have been retired longer than they worked. So 30 plus years in retirement. It used to be that retirement lasted maybe five or six years and then you died and you didn't need to have your money last that long. But do you know that you have enough money for life? We wrote a book a few years ago. I'd be happy to send you a copy called Money Enough for Life. And it addresses that whole thing. Do I really have enough to last? Well, factor in longer life expectancy. Otherwise, it's a blind spot that's going to come back and get you later. Another blind spot is relying on old strategies for today's retirement. Things are constantly changing and it seems rapidly in today's environment. And pensions that used to be something that you just knew was going to be there when you retired, they're pretty well a thing of the past. Getting a good cost of living adjustment on Social Security, it isn't the way it used to be. It's not as good as it used to be. And some of the old strategies that people employ as part of their retirement planning, well, they just don't work today. So are you talking to an up-to-date financial advisory firm that, that has the, the pulse of what's going on out there and has new and innovative strategies that can get you to the finish line with confidence. That's important to ask. And then here's another blind spot, not seeking out the right financial advisor. You know, it seems like around here there's many financial advisors. 
many just even on one street or a corner here in Middle Tennessee in this region. Uh, how do you find the right one? Again, in that book, Money Enough for Life, it talks about all the qualities that you need to look for to really know whether once you've checked those boxes, you've found the right advisor. But, you know, there's another thing you need to rely on too, and that's just your gut. Are you talking to someone who, they just give you the appearance that they care about you, that they know their business, that they're up to date, that they're a good listener. These are all very, very important. Getting the right person. Somebody who, if you're looking for an income planner, you don't necessarily go to someone who is just a specialist in growth. And if you're looking for a comprehensive plan, you don't just look for someone who is good at just one thing. So again, finding that right advisory firm, very, very important. Don't let that be a blind spot to you. And then waiting too long to plan. Okay, so if you didn't plan before, today's the day. And so don't wait long. And at our firm, we believe strongly in planning ahead. It's the plan, not just the product, that gets you to the finish line. And so do you have a good plan? Is it a well thought out, written plan that you know is going to help you win at the game of retirement? If not, this is the day to get that. So again, pay attention to these blind spots, get your answers, and you'll be ready. And that's today's Breaking Down the Basics. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I've really only had one career in my life, and it's with my dad. And growing up, only had one mentor to really pay attention to, and that was my mom and dad as well. And so they really helped instill in us the power and the benefit of saving money. And throughout my career, I've been fortunate to have met with thousands of different families, different individuals from all walks of life, some that are very, very wealthy and some that aren't as wealthy. And what I've been able to figure out through this career and through my parents' lives and watching what they do, uh, it's not the, the wealthiest people that are the happiest in the world. It's the ones that are able to give. And the ones that give selflessly, that really are passionate about helping people out. And sometimes that's money and being able to give through rewards of dollars. And, but it's also time. Uh, there was a client of mine that one of the things that he was really proud of was all of the mission trips that he was able to take throughout his career. And when I walked in their house, we were doing home visits back in the day, he asked to take me in one of his back rooms. And when I went back there, you look on the wall and it was him in all these different countries across the world and how he was able to give his time to help others. And so uh, I would say this career has really helped form me in being able to learn from so many different individuals in all aspects of life. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. The last thing you want to be is flat broke when you are ready to retire. Generating income in retirement is more difficult today than ever before, but there are some surprisingly attractive options to generate income in retirement without betting the farm. At Beacon Capital Management, we want to show you how to use your savings to generate retirement income with our free retirement income analysis. Learn your options, make your money work for you in retirement, and schedule your free retirement income analysis today. This may be hard to believe, but many hardworking Americans, just like you, could be paying even more taxes in retirement, including being taxed on your IRA, 401k, and any other deferred retirement accounts. With the threat of potential taxes increasing, your nest egg could be in trouble unless you take advantage of defensive tax saving strategies now. Now's the time to defend your hard earned savings. Call for your free customized tax savings analysis. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. Welcome to today's Master's Money Moment. You know, you don't often think about turning to the Bible as an investment book. There's lots of books out there about investing, but actually the Bible has a lot to say about money and stewardship and investing and that kind of thing. Today's verse 
Proverbs 21 and 5 is great advice. It says, The plans of the diligent lead to profit, as surely as haste leads to poverty. So what that's teaching us is to be hardworking, conscientious, and do the right thing, take our time. In other words, get the information first and then make good intelligent decisions based on that work. Don't make hasty decisions because a lot of times we end up making big mistakes and none of us want to do that when it comes to our money or investing or anything. So again, a lot of great words here today for us. That's today's Master's Money Moment. Time now for our tax tip of the week. Joined now by Patrick Min. What's inside President Biden's tax plan that we all need to consider as individuals? Amy, I think one of the challenging things right now is we just don't know. There's, there's lots of unknowns out there. So I think the things that we need to focus on are that the tax rates are probably going to go up, certainly at the top end. Top end now is 37%. I believe that'll go up to 39.6, and that may just be on higher earners, but we don't really know that yet. The other area that's getting a lot of attention is long-term capital gains. Right now, that gets preferential treatment, and it's capped at 20%, but under the Biden plan, it looks like that would go up to ordinary income rates, which would be 39.6%. So that could be a big impact for some people as they focus on their tax planning. So much to think about. Thank you so much, Patrick, and that is our tax tip of the week. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. Did you know taxes could be your biggest expense in retirement? It's true, and it catches a lot of people by surprise. You've worked too hard to overpay on taxes come retirement. Learn how to keep more of what's yours and maintain your lifestyle in retirement by downloading this free tax guide now from Beacon Capital Management. Find out ways to save on taxes and enjoy the retirement you deserve. Go to beaconcm.com slash tax guide to get yours today. Do you have a plan for retirement? Maybe you have a 401k and some savings, but there is much more to retirement planning. Things like planning for health care costs, an income plan to maintain your lifestyle, creating a tax strategy and an estate plan. At Beacon Capital Management, we know retirement planning can feel overwhelming. And that's why we're offering a free financial plan checkup to help you reach your retirement goals. So call to get yours today. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. It's time for Ask Beacon Now, one of the greatest parts of the show because you guys get to take some time to answer some questions that come in from time to time. Are you ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Here's our first question from Pete in Murfreesboro. I am thinking about selling some property, but want to know what the tax implications will be or could be. Yeah, I would say that for Pete, it depends on what type of property we're selling. Is it going to be a primary residence or is this a secondary property that may be for investment? So if it's, if it's a primary residence, each individual gets 250000 per person. So if you're married, 500000 of gain can be excluded, which in our area could be a good thing because the housing market has absolutely exploded. And so where very few people used to pay a capital gains tax on their primary residence, so many more these days are finding themselves in a position where they're going to have to do that. So that's the first thing. If it's an investment property, it depends on the amount they paid for it and any depreciation. And at that point, you're looking at capital gains of 15%, could be 20% in taxes. So you really need to sit down with a tax professional uh, or a firm that can really handle all of these aspects for you and unpack what that could look like. Okay, thank you so much. Here's our next question from Elaine in Gallatin. There are so many rules for Social Security. How do I know when I should start drawing Social Security benefits and if I'm doing it right? Yeah, so Elaine's got a great question. There's over 2,700 rules <clears throat> that apply to how you take Social small Security. Reading, small yeah, reading. just yeah. a small, small weekend <laughs> reading material. And the truth is many people, like Forbes magazine had an article recently that said that many Americans miss time how they take Social Security and can leave tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table that they're entitled to 
if they live for a long time in retirement. So it's not a small issue. Uh, do you take it uh, early? Do you take it at full retirement? Do you take it at 70? It really depends on your individual situation. And one of the analysis that we do at Beacon is we do a Social Security maximization report. And this is where we can take your personal data and your spouse's personal data and we can load it into some software and it will give us a really clean report, really easy to understand. It will tell you exactly when and how you should take it to maximize and get the most out of Social Security that you're entitled to. Great answer so far, and we're going to go to another question from Larry in Spring Hill. We're in our 60s and have saved some for retirement, but are wanting to make sure it will last. How do we protect that considering things like medical expenses and tax increases? There's so much to think about, isn't there? There, there is a lot to think about, and this is a biggie. You know, it sounds very simple, just medical expenses and taxes, but it's actually a lot bigger than that. You have to factor in inflation and what about how long am I going to live, right, to make this money last. And so I would say it begins with really doing what we call a comprehensive wealth plan looking at all of the pieces of your retirement plan. Social Security, do you have a pension? How much have you saved for retirement? What's your current risk comfort level? And then what type of income are you going to want to have in retirement to see is there going to be money left over to help cover some of these? So it could be that they may need to delay their retirement if they haven't saved enough. It could be that they're right on track. And so without doing the retirement analysis. There's really no way to know. It all starts with having a comprehensive look into the overall plan, seeing how all the pieces fit together, and then making a good informed decision. There's so much to think about. We're so glad we have you guys on our hands to help us out. All right, thanks so much. If you have questions, go to askbeaconnow.com and we'll be right back. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. This may be hard to believe, but many hardworking Americans, just like you, could be paying even more taxes in retirement, including being taxed on your IRA, 401k, and any other deferred retirement accounts. With the threat of potential taxes increasing, your nest egg could be in trouble unless you take advantage of defensive tax saving strategies now. Now's the time to defend your hard earned savings. Call for your free customized tax savings analysis. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. I loved the show today, John. I always learn so much from you guys. Well, Amy, we covered a lot. And if you're ready to take the first step towards your retirement future, give us a call right now. All right, thanks so much. And you can always learn more by visiting the website for John and the team at Beacon Capital Management. I'm Amy Sharp, wishing you a happy and successful journey to and through retirement.